You found something to bet. You think you have an edge, but you're not sure how good a bet it is because you don't know how to calculate your edge. Well, the good news is I'm going to show you how to do exactly that very quickly with this simple math hack. Math hacks. Math hacks. Calculating your edge is one of the most important things you can do as a sports better. Everything you do as a winning sports better is predicated on having an edge. So you want to be able to know when you have an edge and approximately what that edge is. From there, you can figure out what size of a bet to make and what your expected value, or EV, is on the bet. Likewise, you could also use this to see what the negative expected value of your wager is because you'll be able to calculate what the house edge is on the wager. First, you'll need to know what your probability to win the wager is, or at least your best estimate of that probability. Uh, let's start with a simple example. Suppose you have two teams playing each other. They're each priced at minus 110. You decide which team you'll bet on by flipping a coin. Your probability is 50% that you'll be able to pick the winner. To figure out your edge, or in this case, the house edge, you take the odds and drop the minus sign and then add 100. Now multiply your probability, 50% or 0.5, by that number and then subtract out the odds and then divide that number by the odds and you'll get what the edge is on this bet. In this case, it's minus 4.55%. So the house edge against you is 4.55% on flipping a coin on a minus 110 wager. Now, that may have seemed like a lot of steps, but it's really not that bad. Let's use an example where you have the edge. Let's say that your model predicts that a team has a 72% chance to win a game and you find them priced at minus 220. What's your edge? Well, we take minus 220, we drop the minus sign, and we add 100. Now we have 320. We multiply that by 0.72, which is your probability, 72%, and we get 230.4. Now we subtract out the odds, 220, and we get from that 10.4. Now we divide that 10.4 by 220 and we get 0.0473. This means that your edge on this wager is 4.73%. Now if you have a situation where the beginning odds are a positive number, the formula is slightly different. You still add 100 and multiply that by your probability However, now you just subtract 100 and then divide by 100 to reach your edge. Let's run through an example of that. Suppose you have a team that you predict has a 40% probability to win and they're priced at plus 180. You take 180, add 100 to get 280. You multiply that by your probability, which is 0.4, to get 112. Now you subtract 100, divide by 100, and you find yourself with a nice fat 12% edge. In all my years of sports betting, I've probably used this formula more than any other math hack. Math hacks. I highly recommend that you commit it to memory. In fact, why don't you give it a try here for yourself? Here are some sample probabilities and odds. I'll put the two formulas up on the screen here for you. And you go ahead and work through these on your own and see if you get the correct answers. Go ahead. I'll wait. Oh, you know what? It's probably more simple if you just pause the video here and then start it again once you have your answers. Go ahead. Okay, so did you get these same answers? If so, good, you're on your way. And if you were too lazy to actually do the math, well, don't worry, there's still hope for you. This calculation is included in the Google Sheet that I've created that is designed to specifically fit the size of your smartphone. I've named it Math Hacks. Yep, Math Hacks. And there's a link to it in the description of this video. Now, as a reminder, you don't have edit rights to this sheet, so you'll need to make a copy first and then edit that one for all of your Math Hacks needs. Math Hacks.